सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाश ओ शातिशाशा ओं श्रीगणेशा नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओं श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंकोकशंकमस्तजनकल्याणे निरत करुणाम नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विवर मूक कौतिवाचा पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तमह वंदे परमानंदमाधव परमानंदमाधव सर्वेदात गोचर तम गोचर गोविंद परमानंद सद्गु प्रणतस्म्यहम सो इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हेड सीन अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑफ आनंदमय कोश आई एम अवेयर दैट इट वॉज लिटिल टफ इन द सेंस दैट सो मेनी न्यू कंसेप्ट इवन दोज हुव बीन स्टडिंग वेदांत सडनली दे आर सींग दैट वॉट इज दिस नौ आनंद वृत्ति अज्ञान वृत्ति कॉन्शियसनेस गेटिंग रिफ्लेक्टेड सो फार वी थॉट दैट ओनली इन सेटल बॉडी इट गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड नाउ इन कॉजल बॉडी इट इज गेटिंग रिफ्लेक्टेड वॉट इज हैपनिंग इज आनंदमय कोश डिफरेंट फ्रॉम कारण शरीर इज इट सेम वॉट इज सुषुप्ति अवस्था डूइंग आई एम अवेयर दैट मेनी मेनी क्वेश्चन मेनी डाउट्स विल बी देर वी विल बी टेकिंग द डाउट क्लैरिफिकेशन सेशन सून इन अनदर टू थ्री weeks so please keep all your doubts for that time the basic point about anandamaya kosha is just as the remaining four sheets that we have seen which appear to be the self but are not self annamaya kosha is the gross body pranamaya manomaya vidnyanamaya together is the subtle body and the anandamaya kosha which is basically the causal body karana sharira but in this anandamaya kosha there is one more aspect and that is priya adi vritti priya moda pramoda so not only the causal body which is experienced in the deep sleep state where there is absence of everything else that tamo vritti tamo jrimbita was said that tamas overpowers and therefore we don't comprehend anything our experience in deep sleep is same and that is we know nothing i did not know anything that is our experience right so i don't know whether i am a man or a woman whether i am a small child or a grown up person i don't know whether i am in india or australia or uk or us i don't know anything when i am in deep sleep that's a common experience why because all the identifications and awareness of those come only in the subtle body and the subtle body is not present in the deep sleep state 
बट देर इज अ वृत्ति वृत्ति मीन्स मॉडिफिकेशन जस्ट एज वी हैव अंतकरण वृत्ति जस्ट एज वी हैव मॉडिफिकेशन इन द सटल बॉडी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यू नो इनडिसिवनेस फीलिंग्स थॉट्स डिसीजन रैशनल थिंकिंग एट्सेट्रा ईगो रिमेंबरेंस ऑल दीज आर कॉल्ड एज अंतकरण वृत्ति इन द सेम वे देर इज अ वृत्ति विच इज इन कॉजल बॉडी विच इज कॉल्ड एज अज्ञान वृत्ति और अविद्या वृत्ति इन दैट अविद्या वृत्ति ऑल्सो कॉन्शियसनेस गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड एंड दैट आनंद प्रतिबिंब चुंबित तनु वृत्ति ही दैट वृत्ति वेर द कॉन्शियसनेस गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज आनंदमय कोश सो वॉट हैपन्स आनंद आत्मा द प्योर सेल्फ विच इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ ब्लेस गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड इन टू दिस अज्ञान वृत्ति and that itself is called as now anand vritti why because there is absence of all other kinds of distractions created by subtle body and the outer world in waking state right so because of the absence the bliss is experienced but this is modification of bliss why because the bliss of the self that is experienced is not known to be the bliss of the self so what is overpowering the ignorance is overpowering tamas is overpowering so i know nothing and therefore i am happy here we are still not understanding that i am happiness i am only thinking that i am happy now this is also modification of that pure bliss and therefore the title is anand maya kosha maya means modification so this anandamaya kosha is also not the self it is a modification of that self modification of the bliss of the self right and in the deep sleep state its presence is maximum anandamaya koshasya sushukta spurti hi utkata its full presence is there in deep sleep state swapna jagarayoho ishate and its partial presence is there in swapna dream and jagrata waking where ishta sandarshan adina by seeing perceiving what we like in other words through priya mod and pramod the presence of anandamaya kosha is there in other two states in the deep sleep state anandamaya kosha alone is there in the waking and dream only when there are vrittis called priya moda and pramoda remember what is priya moda pramoda ha priya means what when i perceive what i like moda means when i get what i like and pramoda means when i experience what i like these three kinds of vrittis when they are there in waking or dream that also experience or those also vrittis are considered to be of anandamaya kosha right then we saw one very very interesting concept what is that every joy that we experience is result of punya past punya so i may say see, see, see now very 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 important point this is we have a habit of connecting cause and effect linearly example same example i like ice cream i get ice cream the moment i taste that ice cream i get joy now we think that the joy that i am experiencing is because of the ice cream that i am eating but that is not so the joy that i am experiencing is result of some past punya fructifying at this point of time because suppose i get that ice cream and just before i am tasting it i hear one news that my one of my best friends is in hospital now what happens the ice cream is same the moment is same but i am not getting the joy which means even when i tasted that ice cream 5 minutes back the joy that i got was not from ice cream and now the joy that i am not getting 
is also not because of ice cream. Joy and sorrow is result of our punya and papa. As simple as that. So though we do everything, whether we will be getting that joy or sorrow or not depends on our punya and papa. But whether we get joy or sorrow, how do we react to it? That is in our hand. I may be given a situation which is joyful or a situation which is sorrowful. The situation is joyful or sorrowful, whether I take that happiness or sorrow on myself or not is up to me. And that action, that reaction rather to the situation determines my future punya papa and future sukha dukkha. In the same situation, I can be happy, I can be sad. Are you understanding? See, sorrow is an emotion. Sadness is a subtler emotion. What I mean by that is joy and sorrow are situation based. But happiness and sadness are our reactions to that joyful and sorrowful situations. When I hear about my friend being in hospital, yes, it is a sorrowful situation. No, nobody is saying otherwise. But is there anything that I can do about it? Other than sitting here and praying for my friend, can I do anything? Ah, okay, I can go and meet him. I can help him financially. All that is fine. But I can still get rid of sadness. Shoka. Are you getting? The situation is joyful or sorrowful. Correct. And I must react according to that. Agreed. But in my heart, am I stable or unstable? That is my purushartha self-effort, my free will. And based on how I take care of my mind at that time decides my future. Contributes in deciding my future. Let me put it like this. Okay. So every single joyful situation, sorrowful situation that comes to our life is result of our own punya or papa. But we can remain equanimous in those opposite kind of situations too. That is in our hand. Right? So we are not victims of our past. Please note this point. You cannot say, what is this way, what can we, I do, you know. No, you can do. Okay, you have done lot of bad actions in the past and therefore lot of sorrow is coming now. Agreed. But even single action towards that positive frame of mind will change the course of your future. Every single time we react in a positive way, it is changing our future. You remember we had discussed earlier, our future is our past modified in the present. It is not totally dependent on the present. It will have effect of the past 100%. Why? Newton's first law. Whatever you are in the motion, you will continue. But at the present moment, what I do, that also will have impact on future. So my future is my past modified in the present or modifying in the present, if you want to say like that also, right? But every single joy that I get is because of punya that I have performed and every single sorrowful situation that I get is because of papa that I have performed. It is not linear. It may not be of immediately previous action. That joy may be result of some action in some past Maybe of this birth, maybe of another birth, we never know. 
so we need to understand this point now you see the implication of this understanding is is very very uh, huge vast somebody said something and i got angry and when i get angry i become sad now easily we say i became sad because he said this to me isn't it immediately we blame it on other person no my sorrow my sadness is my own doing nobody else is having any impact on that that person might have said something but you reacted anger was your response to what he said and the sorrow that you are experiencing because of that anger is result of your own papa in the past so we cannot blame anyone for our sorrow for our misery this is one big learning from this understanding so we need to stop blaming difficult situations on others i am in such a terrible situation because of this person uh, you know that person came and told me that you must take engineering that's why i took engineering and now i am suffering it's because of no it's not because of that person that person said something but so are a hundred other people saying so many hundred other things are you following all of them and you decided to follow that person so it is your action which is creating sorrow nobody else's decision or suggestion <laughs> you you understand nobody in the whole world can make you sad so to nobody in the whole world can make you happy you are the one who decide to become happy you are the one who can make yourself sad my happiness my sadness my joy my sorrow is in my own hands in nobody else's hand not in any situation not in any action, uh, not in any object not in any person it is not in any of these paristhiti situation vishaya object jana people it is not in any one's hand it is in my own hand so if i am in a miserable situation it is my own doing if i am in a happy situation it is my own doing and i can be happy or sad independent of all objects people and situations just think what kind of life it will be the moment we become independent of all these things to become happy i don't need ice cream to become happy i don't need anybody else to become happy i don't need a good situation i can be happy irrespective of all these things you are getting mm -hmm. but i am happy is still not the full understanding of yourself it is still anandamaya kosha what should be the final understanding that i am happiness i am not happy sad etc naiva anandamaya paratma even this anandamaya kosha where it say, where we say i am happy i am happy that also is not me actually who am i i am that supreme bliss i am happiness why am i not anandamaya kosha sopadikatvat because this is still associated with upadi karana upadi karana sharira hmm. prakritir vikarat it is still a modification of prakriti why because it is still a vritti it is a modifying thing why because that vritti is not going to remain all the time i may feel that i am happy in my deep sleep and therefore i should remain in deep sleep but that will not happen we will wake up we don't have choice our vasanas our punya papa will force us to wake up it will wake you up and say take your result it is time to take your result of punya or papa that is sukha or dukkha get up it will wake us up our vasanas our inherent tendencies impressions will force us to wake up and therefore it is prakritir vikara 
it is the modification why because it doesn't remain all the time i do experience that happiness in deep sleep but that deep sleep does not remain all the time that adnyana vritti also goes away all other antakarna vrittis etc gather again in waking and dream and i go through series of experiences series of feelings and thoughts it does not remain permanent and therefore it is not me waking state comes and goes dream state comes and goes deep sleep state comes and goes but i remain that who was a waker the one who was a dreamer the one who was deep sleeper is the individual jeeva who is going through these three states considers himself to be different different waker dreamer deep sleeper etc i am none of them i am the self which does not undergo any change does not go through any state and does not modify into becoming anything that i am that panchanam panchanam api koshanam nishedhe yuktitah krite tan nished avadhi hi sakshi when all the five sheets are negated through logic the logic that follows the scripture when all five sheets are negated tan nished avadhi that which remains that witness sakshi bodha roopah of the nature of consciousness avashishyate it remains i am that consciousness i am that witness consciousness who remains after all the five sheets are negated that witness consciousness is swayam jyoti it does not require consciousness of some other factor to know itself pancha kosha vilakshana is different from the five sheets avasthatray sakshi san it is the witness of the three states see witness of the three states not the one who is going through three states jiva is the one who is going through three states in the waking it becomes waker experiences waking state in the dream it becomes dreamer experiences the dream state in the deep sleep it becomes deep sleeper experience the absence of other and absence of everything but i am the witness who is uninvolved in these three states avastha traya sakshi san nirvikara without any modification niranjana without any impurity without any taint sada ananda savidneya that should be known as sada ananda or sada ananda it is existence bliss or it is ever the bliss swatmatvena and it should be known not as an object just as i know a watch i cannot know the self as an object sva atmatvena vidneya vipaschita by the wise up to here we have seen okay so actually speaking what has happened so far the guru has summarized the teaching what was the topic tayoho vivekah katham how to distinguish between the self and the not self to do this the not self was now explained as panchakosha annamaya pranamaya manomaya vidnyanamaya anandamaya and while explaining each kosha it was pointed out how the self is distinct from this kosha which is part of anatma not self right so that was done throughout now also anandamaya kosha that was done and to summarize it was done together also that i am none of the five koshas or you put all the five koshas together also i am not that i am the witness of all of them i am distinct from all of them this much was covered now the student asks a question what is the question let us read verse number 212 212 शिष्य उवाच शिष्य उवाच मिथ्यात्वे न निषिद्धेशु मिथ्यात्वे न निषिद्धेशु कोशे श्वेतेशु पञ्चसु कोशे श्वेतेशु पञ्चसु सर्वाभावं विना किञ्चित 
न पश्याम्यत्र हे गुरो विज्ञेयम किमु वस्तुस्ति स्वात्मनात्म विपश्चिता शिष्य उवाच मिथ्यान निषिधेशु कोशेषु पंचसु सर्वाभाव विना किंचि न पश्याम्यत्र हे गुरो विज्ञेय किमु वस्तुस्ति स्वात्मनात्म विपश्चिता स्टूडेंट सेज एक्सक्यूज मी गुरु आई हैव वन डाउट वॉट जस्ट नाउ यू सैड दैट वेन ऑल द फाइव शीट्स आर निगेटेड दैट विच रिमेन्स दैट विटनेस आई एम डिड यू से दिस यस आई सेट दिस नाउ ऑन दैट आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन वॉट एतेषु पंचसु कोशेषु निषिधेशु सती सप्तमी प्रयोग अगेन एतेषु दीज पंचसु फाइव कोशेषु शीट्स निषिधेशु निगेटेड वेन दीज फाइव शीट्स आर निगेटेड एंड वाई आर यू निगेटिंग मिथ्यान बाय सेइंग दैट दे आर अनरियल वाई बिकॉज इन एवरी सिंगल एक्सप्लेनेशन दैट यू गेव यू सेट दैट आई कैन सी अन्नमय कोश देर फोर इट इज नॉट रियल आई कैन सी प्राणमय कोश देर फोर इट इज नॉट रियल यदृष्टम तज्जम तन्नश्वरम तन्मिथ्या रिमेम्बर वी हैव सीन ऑल दैट राइट सो वी हैव सेट दैट ऑल दीज फाइव शीट्स आर सीन विटनेस्ड बाय द कॉन्शियसनेस एंड देर फोर दे आर अनरियल वाई एनिथिंग दैट इज सीन परसिव्ड एक्सपीरियंस्ड इज नॉट रियल यदृष्टम तन्मिथ्या करेक्ट so having negated all the five sheets why because they are unreal sarva abhavam vina kinchinna pashyami atra he guru he guru oh my teacher what am i experiencing i am only experiencing absence of everything sarva abhavam when the five sheets are negated what remains there remains nothing and what is this nothing nothing is absence of everything so i don't experience anything then vidneyam kimu vastu vastu asti what is that reality which you are talking about which should be known why because there is nothing swatmana you are telling that that vastu should be known as one's own self atma vipashita by the knowers by the wise people that vastu should be known as one's self but there exists nothing see imagine like this in a room there are five tables five tables right and i give you instruction the moment you enter into the table uh, the, the moment you enter into the room whichever is table which you can see put it outside the room what is the instruction after entering the room whichever is table which i can see i should put it outside the room so i take first table keep it outside second table put it outside third table put it outside fourth gone outside fifth gone outside now what now my next instruction is whatever remains that is you now what do we say guru five tables were there you told me to remove all the five tables now there is nothing what are you talking about there is nothing you understand the question my understanding of myself is this much i am the body no pranas no mind no intellect no karan sharir Now, if you say no to that karan sharir also, what remains? Nothing remains. So, do you mean to say that nothingness is the self? 
is this what you are telling what is that vastu which you are asking me to realize why because on removing on negating the five sheets nothing is remaining getting the question are getting the question now what can be the answer see when there were five tables in the room and one by one you removed all tables outside yes you are right that there exists no table correct but you are there who is seeing that there is nothing i am not asking you to know some object as yourself i am telling you after removing all objects what remains is that witness consciousness which was witnessing the presence of objects now it is witnessing the absence of objects that witness consciousness remains agreed that in the room there are no tables but you are still there seeing that there are no tables that you i am explaining you know that to be yourself so after negating all the five sheets you are right that there exists nothing to be experienced don't look for what is experienced go for experiencer go one step further into the witness of experiencer and experienced objects that witness you are are you following the thought now the question and answer i am giving you answer in essence shankaracharya will give the answer now i am just explaining you where is the doubt coming in students mind and how the doubt is to be resolved okay now the guru will answer okay let us see his question is what when the five sheets are negated nothing remains then what are you talking about which is that reality which is to be known as myself by the wise uh, there is remains nothing now the answer comes next verse shri guru ruvacha shri guru ruvacha satya muktam tvaya vidvan satya muktam tvaya vidvan nipuno si vicharane nipuno si vicharane aham adivikaraste तदभावोयमप्यनु तदभावोयमप्यनु नेक्स्ट वर्स आल्सो इन कंटिन्यूएशन सर्वे ये नानुभूयन्ते सर्वे ये नानुभूयन्ते यस्वयं नानुभूयते यस्वयं नानुभूयते तमात्मानं वेदितारं विधि बुद्ध्या सुसुक्ष्मया विधि बुद्ध्या सुसुक्ष्मया बोथ वर्सेस टुगेदर श्री गुरुरुवाच सत्यमुक्तं त्वया विद्वन् निपुणो सि विचारणे अहमादिविकारास्ते तदभावोयमप्यनु सर्वे ये नानुभूयन्ते यस्वयं नानुभूयते तमात्मानं वेदितारं विधि बुद्ध्या सुसूक्ष्मया ब्यूटीफुल आंसर व्हाट डज इट से श्री गुरु हु उवाच द ग्रेट गुरु सेड व्हाट सत्यमुक्तं त्वया हे विद्वन ओ लर्नेड वन ही इज कॉलिंग हिज स्टूडेंट एज लर्नेड वन सत्यमुक्तं त्वया ट्रुथ इज स्पोकन बाय यू you have said correctly nipuna asi vicharane you are nipuna you are an expert in vichar in enquiry why because you have correctly followed what i have been explaining so the doubt is natural outcome of correct thinking <laughs> what the doubt about the next topic not the doubt about the same topic what 
question you have asked is actually connecting me to the next topic and therefore you have followed my thinking correctly so how i have been explaining you have followed it correctly and asked the right question because of which i can now go to the next topic nipuno se vicharane hmm now what 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 is the answer then aham aadi vikaraha ते 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 मीन्स दे दे अहम आदि विकार द मॉडिफिकेशन सच एज ईगो एट्सेट्रा अहम अहम इज दैट अहंकार मीन्स वॉट ऑल द मॉडिफिकेशन ऑल द फाइव कोशस् तद अभाव अभी अनु एंड देर एब्सेंस सो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दोज मॉडिफिकेशन एंड एब्सेंस ऑफ दोज मॉडिफिकेशन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ फाइव शीट्स एंड द एब्सेंस ऑफ फाइव शीट्स the presence of each state and absence of each state in other states sarve connecting to the next verse sarve yena anubhuyante all these anubhuyante are experienced yena by whom here experienced doesn't mean experiencer all these are witnessed by whom स्वयं न अनुभूयते एंड इट इट सेल्फ इज नॉट विटनेस्ड बाय एनी बडी एल्स मीन्स वॉट दैट विच इज विटनेस ऑफ एवरीथिंग बट विच इज नॉट विटनेस्ड बाय एनी थिंग तम टू दैट आत्मा टू दैट सेल्फ वेदितारम हु इज द नोवर के कैपिटल विधि यू हैव टू रियलाइज दैट आत्मा विच इज द विटनेस ऑफ एवरीथिंग बट विच इज नॉट विटनेस्ड बाय एनीथिंग नो दैट टू बी द सेल्फ हाउ शुड आई नो इट बुद्ध्या हाँ विच अगेन केम बुद्ध्या सुसूक्ष्मया बुद्ध्या by extremely subtle intellect what is what is saying too much too much veggi please little slow ha see what is this this is a watch how do you know this is watch because i am seeing through my eyes that this is watch okay so watch is the seen s double e n and eyes are the seer s double e r correct one pair watch watch is example for all kinds of objects hmm? all the physical objects are seen by my eyes all kinds of sound are heard by my ears all kinds of smell is smelt by my knows so all the objects are seen senses are the seer now all the senses are also seen by my mind how we know there is some problem is there today i am not able to hear properly how do you know you are not able to hear properly who sees that your ear is not functioning properly your mind what is written there i am not able to see who is behind that eyes knowing that the eyes are not functioning properly it is the mind which knows so the second pair is the senses are seen the mind is the seer correct now now interesting thing you see the senses are seer also seen also hmm? with respect to objects they are the seer with respect to the mind they are seen correct objects are seen by senses senses are seen by mind correct now my mind 
and the thoughts of my mind they are also seen why i know i am sad i know i am happy i know i am understanding and i also know i am not understanding just like now many people are only th- looking at the screen why veji only sound is coming hitting my ears something is going inside nothing is happening inside important thing is you know that nothing is happening inside that is my point <laughs> your knowledge understanding non understanding feeling of joy sorrow anger is known to you no who is the one who knows this different different thoughts of my mind that is what we don't know let us call it as x in mathematics that's what we do when we don't know what to call we call it as x so what has happened so far objects are seen by senses senses are seen by mind mind is seen by x correct so far following the senses become seer with respect to objects but become seen with respect to mind mind becomes seer with respect to senses but seen with respect to x correct but the objects are never seer they are only seen and the x is never seen it is only seer so far okay now let me introduce sanskrit words to make it easy hey veji no sanskrit to make it difficult no no easy i will explain seer is druk seen is drishya objects are drishya eyes are druk eyes means senses senses are drishya mind is the druk mind and all kinds of thoughts of mind are drishya and that x is druk correct mind and senses are sometimes drishya sometimes druk isn't it with respect to lower thing they are druk with respect to higher thing they are drishya correct so they are called as sapekshik druk means what they are seers but they are not permanently seers apeksha asti sapekshik conditional <laughs> conditions apply objects are always drishya objects are not able to see it, anything see eyes can see the watch but the watch cannot see my eyes or watch cannot see anything correct so objects are nirapekshik drishya always seen and that x it is nirapekshik druk always the seer s capital mind and senses small s seer why because they are not always seer sometimes seer sometimes seen they are sapekshika conditional whereas that x is nirapekshika druk ultimate seer s capital now that x is called in the shastra vedanta shastra has sakshi sakshi the witness consciousness why witness consciousness because it is the ultimate witness ultimate seer why ultimate witness or ultimate seer because it witnesses everything 
but it is not witnessed by anything. Yena sarve anubhuyante yaha swayam na anubhuyate that which witnesses everything but which is not witnessed by anything that is the self that sakshi is the chaitanya witness consciousness that is the self that we have to know and we have to know not as some object why because it cannot be known as object it cannot become seen just now we have seen isn't it so it has to be known as what as oneself as the knower not as an object of knowledge tamatmanam veditaram vidhi know that knower swami ji how can you know the knower know the knower means be the knower realize that you are the knower you cannot know the knower as object of knowledge therefore self cannot be known as some object correct know the knower by being the knower how to be the knower make your intellect extremely subtle buddhya susukshmaya getting it so who am i i am that witness who witnesses everything but is not witnessed by anything i am that knower k capital who knows everything but who is known by nothing i am the ultimate witness ultimate seer ultimate knower w k uh, s and k capital ultimate knower ultimate seer ultimate witness that i am so you are right when you say that when the five sheets are negated there remains nothing correct now who witnesses nothing that you are i am not saying that nothingness is you i am saying the witness of nothing you are when these objects and koshas and avasthas were there the self was still the witness of their presence when all of them are removed their absence is also witnessed by the self by that sakshi that i am in panchadashi another beautiful text by swami vidyaranya and bharati tirtha swami ji in 10th chapter of panchadashi is nataka deepa prakarana nataka deepa prakarana the chapter title is nataka deepa nataka deepa nataka means uh, drama deepa means lamp so the lamp in that stage the stage lamp that's the title title of the uh, chapter what is explained there vidyarana swami very beautifully explains there that there is a beautiful stage and different different characters you know are appearing there and dancing and uh, singing and performing and talking and having different different kinds of skills and they are all performing for the king who is present there and they are all doing all those things but that lamp that big halogen which is enlightening the entire stage i am like that lamp why all my upadhis all my koshas come there and dance i as sakshi illumines their presence i illumine their presence when all of them go away one by one the stage is empty i illumine their absence also i am neither the appearing thoughts nor the disappearing thoughts i am neither the perishing body nor the appearing body i am neither the sleeper nor the dreamer nor the waker 
I am the witness of presence of all of them and absence of all of them. That witness consciousness I am. How can I know this witness consciousness? You cannot know it as an object. So what? I have to be that. How to be that? I have to make my mind extremely subtle. Su Sukshma Buddhi. That is what is said here. You see, Tamatmanam Veditaram Vidhi Buddhya Su Sukshmaya. Know it by making your intellect extremely subtle. See, intellect, buddhi, can be dull. But even good intellect is having three kinds of goodness. One is called as tikshna buddhi. Tikshna buddhi, sharp intellect. Another is called as shuddha buddhi, pure intellect. And third thing is called as Sukshma Buddhi, that is subtle intellect. Tikshna Buddhi, sharp intellect. Shuddha Buddhi, pure intellect. Sukshma Buddhi, what is that? Subtle intellect. So three kinds of good intellects. Bad intellects can have many types. We are discussing about three kinds of good intellect. What is this Tikshna Buddhi? The sharp intellect, first type is Tikshna Buddhi. The intellect which can clearly think about worldly things is called as Tikshna Buddhi. We say also many times, no? You, you have any doubt about this share market, etc. No, go to this person. Why? Sharp. He is very sharp. Why? He will tell you in two minutes where you should put money, where you should not put money. What is going to go up? What is going to go down? But remember, the intellect there is working only in the realm of world. Is comparing two unreal things and finding out which is a better unreal thing. You see, this color is better or that color is better. You ask men which color. For men, their colors are very clear. You know, yellow, red, green, blue, white, black. You ask women, magenta, red. Blue, sky blue, navy blue, yellow, mango, yellow, lemon, yellow, golden, yellow. Now, the intellect which can distinguish between two worldly things is called as Tikshna Buddhi. Now, the Tikshna Buddhi can be in any particular area. Some people are extremely good in music. Some are in sports. Some are in politics. Some are in business. All are kind of Tikshna Buddhi. Second is called as Shuddha Buddhi. It is very rare. Pure intellect. This pure intellect, no? That pure intellect doesn't understand uh, how to cheat, how to bluff. They are very simple kind of people. They speak truth. They don't understand that to get the work done, I have to sometimes use twisted truth, etc. They don't understand all that. That is called a Shuddha Buddhi. Third is called as Sukshma Buddhi. What is this Sukshma Buddhi? The Sukshma Buddhi is the one, subtle intellect is the one which can distinguish between the self and the not self. Please note, one with Tikshna Buddhi may not be able to do Atma and Atma Viveka. Why? Because Tikshna Buddhi is different, Sukshma Buddhi is different. I'll give you an example. Tikshna means sharp, isn't it? Sharp when you say you remember sword. Sharp. Hmm? Now that sharp sword can cut a person. But you cannot use that sharp sword to cut your nail. You don't need just sharpness. You need a small thing also. Subtle is also required along with sharp. 
राईट नाव इन सूक्ष्म बुद्धी ऑल्सो तीक्ष्ण सूक्ष्म बुद्धी इज पॉसिबल द सटल इंटलेक्ट विच इज शार्प दॅट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल दॅट इज वॉट कठोपनिषद सेज ऑल्सो एष सर्वेशु भूतेशु गूढोत्मान प्रकाशते दृश्यते तु अग्रया बुद्ध्या सूक्ष्मया सूक्ष्मदर्शिभी सूक्ष्मया अग्रया बुद्ध्या यु सी वॉट इज इ सेईंग देअर He is telling that it is seen, that self is seen by what? By the subtle, sharp intellect. Subtle, very important. Sharp is the next quality. Subtle is more important quality. Right? Why subtle? Because you are not trying to distinguish between two objects. You are trying to separate out subject. from all the objects and therefore this knower can be known through extremely subtle intellect is it clear okay so that who is witness of presence and absence of all upadis but who is not witnessed by anything that ultimate witness i am and i must realize that nature of myself which is of ultimate witness ultimate knower ultimate seer how can i do that by making my mind and intellect extremely subtle extremely subtle it should become so much subtle that it should dissolve in my nature and by becoming the self i can realizing the self by becoming the self means by realizing that i always have been this my mind and my intellect showed myself to be jiva but i am not that i am the self i was the witness i am the witness i ever will be the witness what kind of witness w capital that which witnesses everything which is not witnessed by anything that witness i am isn't this brilliant knowledge this is that kind of knowledge which will remove all kind of ignorance now guru says to tell you the truth you are not even witness huh what hey, this is too much it's so much you built and so much you built and so much you proved myself that i am the witness that which witnesses everything but which is not witnessed by anything now you are saying you are not witness that is because next verse verse number 250 tat sakshikam bhavet tat tat यदुभूयते कस्याप्यनुभूता साक्षिपयुज्य तत्साक्षि भवे तत्त यदुभूयते कस्याप्यनुभूता साक्षि नोपयुज्य यूयते तत्त तत्साक्षि भवे यट एवर येन अनुभूयते इज विटनेस्ड बाय हूम तत्त दैट दैट मीन्स ऑल दैट तत् साक्षिक इज हैविंग द अदर थिंग एज विटनेस वॉट वॉट एवर इज विटनेस्ड बाय समथिंग इज हैविंग द अदर थिंग एज विटनेस करेक्ट द ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर विटनेस्ड बाय द सेंसेस सो ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर हैविंग सेंसेस एज देअर विटनेस द सेंसेस आर विटनेस्ड बाय द माइंड द माइंड इज द सेंसेस आर हैविंग माइंड एज देअर विटनेस ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ थॉट्स are witnessed by that sakshi so the mind is having sakshi as its witness so in short everything is having sakshi 
एज देयर विटनेस करेक्ट बट कस्य अपी आनुभूतार्थे बन वेन देर इज नथिंग टू एक्सपीरियंस नथिंग टू विटनेस साक्षित्व नोपयुज्य वाई आर यू कॉलिंग दिस एज साक्षी वेन देर इज ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज सीन आई एम द सीयर वेन देर इज नो ऑब्जेक्ट सीन आई कैनॉट बी कॉल्ड अ सीयर वेन आई हैव अ सन I am called father, but when I don't have son, can I be called as father? If there is son, father. But if there is no son, I am there, but I can no more be called as father. It is not that if son is not there, I don't exist. No, no, I exist, but I don't exist as father. You are getting the point. why because this sakshitva this witnesshood is dependent dependent on witnessed because there is something to witness you are calling yourself as the witness if there is nothing to witness then what are you witness of nothing then you are not witness so even that witnesshood which is attributed to the self is only with respect to the world which is witnessed but my dear anything that is experienced is not there yad drishyam tad jadam that is inert tannashwaram perishable tan mithya it is unreal tad asat it is not there so everything that is seen is not there so what am i seeing nothing so am i the seer no then who am i i am that consciousness so from witness consciousness you remove the word witness what remains you are that consciousness when can i say i am witness consciousness when i feel there is something there which i am witnessing when that witnessed is not there i cannot be called as witness also that sakshitva witnesshood is also what dependent sapekshika you are getting hmm so witness is according to something which is to be witnessed when there is nothing to witness then uh, calling self as witness also doesn't make any sense so from the ultimate standpoint the self is not even witness getting not getting take our usual example of rope and snake from the standpoint of the snake rope is the substratum of the snake correct so how how is snake there because there is rope but from the standpoint of the rope can you say that oh rope you are the substratum of the snake the rope will ask you what snake why because for the rope there is no snake for the self there is no world then what will be the self witness of nothing so can it be called as witness no so <laughs> self is that witness which witnesses everything which is not witnessed by anything and it is not actually the witness also okay one more facet is facet is added to this point what is that let us read the next verse and and we'll conclude asau swas asau swasakshiko bhavah asau swasakshiko bhavah yatasve nanubhuyate अत पर स्वयं साक्षात प्रत्यगात्मचेतर अत 
असौ स्वसाक्षिको भाव यतस्वेनाभूयते अत पर स्वयं साक्षा प्रत्यगात्मा चेतर असौ दिस् स्वसाक्षिक भाव वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट इज एडेड हियर नेचर ऑफ बीइंग विटनेस ऑफ इट सेल्फ सी व्हाट इज हैपनिंग साक्षी इज विटनेस ऑफ एवरीथिंग एंड विच डजेंट हैव एनी अदर विटनेस विच मींस इट इज विटनेस फॉर इट सेल्फ आल्सो इट इज सेल्फ नोन सेल्फ लुमिनस सेल्फ कॉन्शियस इट इज विटनेस ऑफ ऑल इट इज नॉट विटनेस्ड बाय एनीथिंग एंड इट इट सेल्फ इज विटनेसिंग इट सेल्फ करेक्ट यत स्वेन अनुभूयते सिंस द सेल्फ इज नोन बाय इट सेल्फ अतः देर फोर परम स्वयं साक्षात प्रत्येकात्मा सो धिस इज नाउ द अल्टिमेट वाय देर इज नथिंग हायर देन इट वाय because it witnesses everything nothing is witnessed nothing is witnessing it and it is witnessed by itself witnessed by itself it is known to itself how self known self luminous swayam jyoti self conscious so this param is supreme brahman swayam pratyagatma it is the inner self nacha itaraha it is not anything else it is the supreme self okay so self witnesses everything self is not witnessed by anything self witnesses itself so in the actual case self is just self not even witness why because what it witnesses the world does not exist clear if there is something to witness then the witness can be called as witness if there is nothing to witness then witness is there but it cannot be called as witness okay please listen to the lecture again it requires re listening re thinking okay step by step go you can pause listen again go back 10 seconds listen again why because it is extremely subtle knowledge what is the essential point after all the five sheets are negated nothing of the five sheets remain correct but who illumines that nothing who witnesses that nothing that witness you are that witness is me that witness remains what is the nature of that witness it is the ultimate witness which witnesses everything which is not witnessed by anything and which is witnessing itself and since there is nothing to witness because the world is not real it cannot be even called as witness it is just consciousness so when the five sheets are removed nothing remains but there is a substratum which knows that nothing that substratum i am nothing of the world remains nothing of the object remains but the subject is still there that subject is me that subject is to be known and for that i have to make my mind and intellect extremely subtle why because only by that we can know the knower okay that is the point now what some other method one more method will be explained we'll see in the next session om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate 
ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ